Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are at John Forest National Park, uh, going for a bit of a walk and check out, I want to check out this Swan View Tunnel. Um, looked pretty good in Google Maps and checked it out and National Parks Falls. I'm not anticipating a lot of water in the falls, but just want a bit of a research trip, just checking it out and see what's going to be ready for once the rain does come. It's a nice, lovely overcast morning. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. So let's get, uh, I'm going to head down this track and see what we can find. Maybe even get some photos if we're lucky. Righty up, let's do it. Yes, here we go. Into the tunnel. You see how they've carved it out of the rock. It's just blasted and chipped out. It's no new technology here. Very, very cool. And the sun's just gone beyond the clouds, so it's plenty of time to get some photos, actually. Look at that. Something you definitely don't see every day. Maybe I'll just pull up here and get some photos of that entrance. I'll talk to you soon and then you can think, I think, don't know if you can see, you can see the end of the tunnel right through there. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to pull up here, get some photos of this entrance and then we're going to head in there. What do you say? Let's do it. shot there. There's looking out. That little bit just a big blowout I guess. Um, but we're heading into the tunnel so I'm just gonna take the filter off the camera. Probably gonna be a bit easier for you. And let's see how far we go until we lose some light. And then I'm gonna try and get light the tunnel up a bit and get some photos from in here. Very cool, very old school small bricks and then this is just all stone amazing yeah. shoot an old door of some sort get the light out so you can see what's going on so a little alcove or something there and then we go down the tunnel here you can you see it you're going to be able to hear my footsteps this metal. Back out to the airlines. I think it's about 300, I believe it's about 300 meters long. It's going to be a fair old echo on the microphones too. Sorry about that. Um, 300 metres long, it was built in the 1800s. I'm assuming there's one way to get through the mountains on the way to Perth. Um, and then all the little spots along here like this. Definitely very cool. So once I get, I'm gonna try and get to about the middle. And then we will see if we can't get a nice shot of the tunnel, get a low light stuff, which I think would be pretty cool. You see the old small bricks. These days. Very good condition. I'm assuming it gets fairly well maintained because it's um, part of a national park, so it'll be heritage protected. And the, um, 
actually surprised there's not a lot more people sleeping here, but this fairly wet, so I wonder when the, when the rain comes if it runs through some water dampness coming through the roof up here. I think we're getting pretty close to the middle. Looks like a bit of damp, a bit of water coming through, maybe the walls or something. Coming through here. And you can see the salt. Salt there on the surface. So there's a little reflections there. Very cool. Okay. I wanna try and get one of these alcoves in the shop as well. That's cool. I think just up here is gonna be about the right spot. We'll pull up and see if we can't get a photo. Graffiti, not really the right spot for it, but I don't think they care. Want to get those bricks? Righty, I could do a quick shot here, and we'll go from there, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm in the middle of the tunnel. Um, hopefully, you can see that sort of my composition. I'm taking a heap of different uh, apertures, and I'm just in the last set now, just. Getting focus stacks ready. Um, I'm going to need like four or five focus spots down the tunnel because that tunnel right at the end, obviously with the entrance at the other end, that bright sun just blows right out. So I've had to go right down to that focus on there, close it right down so I can block out that light and then open it up and then come back, 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 back about three or four, maybe I think four times and I've done like... Uh, I think I'm currently on an F14, I've done an F10, I've done a 5.6, and I did a 1.4. So I've got a few options up my sleeve. And I think it should go well. So I'm just on my last set. I've got one more photo to do, and I'm just bracketing it to make sure I've double got everything sorted. Um, yeah, got a light just sitting off to the side in one of those little alcoves just shining out and that's really popping out and giving it just a little bit of something else a bit of texture or little not texture just a little a highlight in the photos so i'll finish this off and then we'll keep moving i hope you probably can't see anything now the camera's in work mode but um one more set and then we'll keep going guys so we made it through the other side we've done those done a big shot in the middle of there we've gone through and done a thing i'm just coming out and it's a lot clearer on this side 1895 you can see up there that's when this was built so that's just insanity um and i'm just going to get some shots of in here and just get that it's a lot cleaner and a little bit more definition compared to the other side so I'm try and get a nice photo of that with that sun behind me and under the clouds so it's a beautiful day. Right, I get this done. Okay, right, guys, so we're just doing a walk along the old train tracks. Comes down here to the valley. Natural bird life, lots of ironstone. So these little trees here, the black boys. You've probably seen them in a few. May have seen them in a few photos I've done before. I do have some from Whiteman Park that are about them, but um, yeah, it's a very nice little walk. If you're coming down, yeah, they're supposed to be uh, not sure where the falls are, but I think they're not too far away. Won't be there soon. One lone soldier, a little bit behind the pack. Gonna be late for dinner.
Alrighty, hey guys, so here's the falls. Obviously, no water uh, in the summer. But uh, yeah, we'll go down and have a sus, good little scout out, a bit of a preparation walk, get an idea of when it does get a bit of rain. Radio. Um, yeah, just having a bit of a walk around. It's probably not the best. There's no water, so it's a little bit tricky. Um, what do you do? But um, yeah, anyway, we're gonna I'm gonna go up and just check out this picnic area. Uh, there's another car park, so I might be a bit closer before I come again when it's rainy. Nice little walk, good exercise. Really no loss in this. Uh, I think I've got that. If I can get that tunnel photo right. I'll be happy. That'll be one really good photo out of it. Some other things I want to you know, just do some test shots at the falls, um, which might come in handy sort of down the road. So give me an idea of what I'm looking at for when it does start raining, and um, we'll go from there. Having that, we'll um, have a bit more of a meander. Go check out this picnic area. Let's go with that. Hey guys, radio. So we're at the old. Bridge. Uh, there used to be a train station well, just here. We used to drop off uh, perfizzers that come out for the day and check out the surrounding area. And uh, yeah, pretty old, pretty beautiful old bridge. Uh, you can see here the river is definitely dry, but we're gonna. It's pretty much gonna be the end of my walk. Going to head back. Oh, sorry, don't get you dizzy. Going to head back now. Head back to the car. A couple of shots I want to have a look on the way. We'll maybe stop there and talk to you. If not, we'll see you back of the car. Right. Thanks. Let's do this. Probably windy as, but uh, at, the, at the National Falls, um, here at the park. So, it's the view, it's a beautiful view. Um, the sun's popped out again now, so clearly the colour's not the world's best. But you can see where the water's been running. Um, obviously, none at the moment, which is no good uh, for photos. But it's a pretty wild spot. Definitely want to get back here when it's raining. So I'll be running down over here down into the gully. It'd be very, very cool. Um, definitely worth checking out. Alright, uh, well, that's probably it us for the day. And I head back. One more shot I want to get on the way back, and that will pretty much do it. Nice little quick one today. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe below the tripod and hit the like button, and that'll be much appreciated. And if you get hit that bell, that'll let you know every time I do one of these things. Hope you have a fantastic day, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Ciao. Okay. <laughs> promise. I promise. This is the last one. Righto. So this is my last composition. Um, I don't know if you can see it there. Getting close. So I've got this beautiful limestone rock coming up this gorgeous tree. And those colours. Look at the. Those all those textures in that tree, that trunk, it looks amazing. 
like it's just peeled off its bark or something ready getting ready for winter i guess um but yeah the sky's got nice and cloudy for us so it's good i've done i've done a bracket exposure and i've also done focus stack about five or six i think it took about five or six spots so i can get it focus and get all the texture of that rock and get that tree in there so it's at least two i'm really hopeful for there if i can get those really two good ones that'll be that'll make the video that's about it john mitchell national park i think it is and the swan view swan view tunnel yeah that's what it is swan view tunnel the old railway they used to come up through the swan valley um come check it out if you want to come for a hike it's a beautiful hike there's plenty of little offshoot trails uh definitely winter when there's rain and stuff it'll be just beautiful i can imagine with the water coming through it'll just be amazing so definitely another one to chuck on your list i'm definitely finding some gems around perth uh, there's definitely stuff to do when you're self-isolating and um, you just want to come out and get some exercise and fresh air and uh, you don't have to be around people you don't affect anyone else you're just nice and relaxed radio all right that's it i'm done i gotta get out of here it's time to go home let's go get back in that car guys well that's it um yeah had a good little walk about 6k walk hike um a couple of really good photos gonna need a bit of work but um yeah i think it uh, should go well so see how we go once we get them in the lightroom and photoshop to get it all merged together but um yeah it looks pretty good beautiful little spot um i definitely got the wrong car park you can park actually in the national park i think there's a picnic ground uh that's if you're going to come go there don't go to the tunnel car park it's a nearly a kilometer walk and you might as well walk through the national park and see stuff so yeah definitely a better way to come um yeah so there's a little top tip for you anyway that's it for another episode for me i will see you all on the next one take it easy